Hi! We're watching Bridgerton. I'm late to the party. I think it's been out for like a week now and I'm only now sitting down. Um, I need to alter the camera because you're too high. I've just watched a recap for season one. So from what I remember, Daphne and the Duke are together. They have a baby. Um, and loads of other shit happened and Whistledown is Penelope. That's as much as I remember and that's as much as I got from that video. So without any further ado, let's get into Bridgerton season two, baby. Woohoo. I remember after the first season being truly gagged. Really enjoyed season one. So I'm excited to get into this. Also the Duke, fucking sexy. Oh. Oh, it's her, Eloise. If one of you utters a single word. I mean, it's a lot and it's not her George, but I think she looks sickening. Her mum does too, clearly. Remember, a young lady cannot be a diamond until you anoint her as such. God, her tits are pushed right up to that chin. Go on, bitch. I know that's right. Found a small smile work best to appear open and approachable, but not too eager. I think it's so funny, me, like this bullshit, like the, the pressure they have put under to find a husband at like what age? Is it like 16? Is it 16? I think it's pretty young, right? Who, who came up with this? Who said this was a good idea? What I need is what I have, and that is a list. Tolerable. He's hot. There's so many attractive people in this fucking thing, guys. Oh, baby. If you thought this season was not going to be thirsty for me, Get ready, let's get thirsty, hoes. Miss Eloise Bridgerton. Is she gonna fuck it up? Oh, I hope she's not gonna fuck it up. Come on, character shoe, we love that. It's fine. Lady Whistle Down. <laughs> whistle Down back, baby. I've seen enough. I mean, I'm assuming Eloise doesn't want to be chosen for anything, like, she doesn't want to do it. Right? <laughs> Best of luck to you, brother. You shall certainly need it this season. Why, where are you going, Daphne? Also, where's your hubby? I was sharpening my knives for all, all of you. you. What's Penelope's, like, motive? Like, is she, does she have cruel intentions? Because I cannot live if that's the case. What my mistress wants, she gets. And for whatever reason, that will be you at the moment. What's this accent, babes? Though this one you will be able to unearth. It's kind of iconic that it's her because, like, no one's ever going to suspect that it's her. But it's kind of perfect because, obviously, she kind of, like, flies under the radar so she can just literally observe. Like, guys, we saw this in Euphoria. Like, some of the best characters are, the, are proven, obviously, to be the observers of everybody else's actions because you get to find out so much more shit. If you are to catch the Queen's eye after this morning's interruption, then you must be perfection. I hope she goes against all the bullshit in this season. I hope she says, like, fuck you to all this crap. And she's like, I don't want a man. I don't want a husband. What if she wants a lady? Did someone catch your eye at the presentation, brother? Not particularly. And all the young ladies look the same, like young ladies. How young are we talking? They're not that young, because apparently Daphne was 21. Oh yeah, he likes himself a, um... <laughs> and I like myself some of that. Hello, mister. Whoa there! Miss, are you in trouble? Who is this, babe? Who's betting this is to be his wife? I'm calling it now. <laughs> she was in sex education. Oh, he likes a bit of that. We like it. Oh yeah, Bona. Bona City. I'm on my way back to Mayfair. It is just ahead. Mayfair. Posh Totty. We could say that if we had decided on a finish line together, but alas, we made no such agreement. Ah, I see you are not one for losing. I like her, she's a bad bitch. He needs this. He needs taking down a pair, I think. We've not yet been introduced. I'm afraid that is not possible. Not when I have a victory lap to enjoy. God, I bet the poo nanny gets a pounding on horses, doesn't it? Imagine the gooch, guys. Imagine the gooch. 
If you ride a horse and you're out there, I really do take my hat off to you, because I, I don't know if I'd be able to do it myself. Lady Mary. Lady Danbury. <laughs> I have made all the arrangements. The piano forte is tuned, the instructor's hired, dance lessons begin at noon, followed by a short but comprehensive visit from a lovely French tutor I have secured. Fuck all this bullshit. I'm glad I wasn't alive around this time because, I mean, also I am a man, so. But also, like, I'd be expected to find a wife. Am I right? <laughs> he will already be regarded as an old maid at the mature age of six and twenty. I'm not here to find a husband for myself, only for my sister. That my best friend, she a real bad bitch. I'm sure we have much to learn from you, such as the preparation of this most excellent tea. God, she's well versed in kiss ass, isn't she? Jesus. Smoke kiss ass, if you will. <laughs> Would you like me to prepare some potatoes for the ladies downstairs, ma'am? So she's single now. Because didn't their father, like, gamble all their shit, right? Like, it was a big gambler. He's died. Yeah. Everyone will still have questions about our family, about how you and I are related. Oh, so they're actually not sisters? We are sisters. It will never change the way you and I see each other. I'm confused. I'm also kind of bonged up and snotty. I will say, like, the gowns and everything, like, and, like, the... Like the costume, like in the wardrobe department for this show, they really did bits. Like these dresses are insane. Like they do look fucking gorgeous and expensive. Like I wonder how much these gowns and stuff actually cost, and like who designed them and stuff. See her on the other hand, the queen is dressed like a fucking idiot, isn't she? What is that? Lady Mary Sharma, whom you must remember. If only you had extended the courtesy of offering your queen a final farewell before you left. Oh, so, shit, so they, they've got a past. Sh sh shit definitely went down when she, when she was maybe younger and obviously when she was looking for her husband. I'm assuming shit didn't end well and she didn't say goodbye before she left. So we're holding grudges. Okay, Queenie, I see you. Let's hold a grudge. <laughs> Come, sister. The cakes of these occasions are surprisingly good. Yeah. Took one for the team there, thank you sir, thank you. Goodbye, widow. This is the season the Viscount intends to find a wife. <laughs> oh, what a bitch. Fuck that. I mean, same, I would be amongst this crowd, but fuck that, I'd be like, fuck off mother, I'm leaving. Is that Lady Mary Sheffield Sharma? Lady Mary Sheffield Sharma. I can't believe she would show her face here again. It's scandal, mama. Death. Lady Mary was the incomparable of our season until she fell in love with and married some kind of clerk. So she kind of went against the tea. But the man was no more than a common worker. Hey, Queen. Oh, so she was like the top dog in their season and then she ended up marrying someone that people deemed not worthy, essentially. Shit. He may very well be our most eligible bachelor indeed. He's very handsome. I suppose he is. <gasps> They're gonna get together, we know it! We know it, guys! Miss Edwina Sharma. Edwina. I don't like that name, I'm sorry, Edwina. And this dancing, what is this prance all about? I mean, I live. I'd be winking. Is one lady unlike any other? Simply pick the least objectionable and get a wed, bed, and bread. <gasps> Wait a damn minute. <laughs> then you can return to more pleasurable pursuits. And more pleasurable partners. I hate this conversation. Love is the last thing I desire. But if my children are to be of good stock, then their mother must be of impeccable quality. And yet the debutantes of London fall short at every turn. I hate this conversation. This is ridiculous. Like, are the women just breeding machines? Shit. Someone there? No. Just a glistening, beautiful frock floating. <laughs> you. Pardon me, my lord. She just heard that conversation. You should be ashamed. 
I was wondering if we'd meet again. So you might discern if my wit is acceptable. My man is genteel. But you were eavesdropping. It was hardly an effort, seeing as you were proclaiming your many requirements for old wife, loud enough for the entire party to hear. You were basically shouting to the masses. Do you find my smile pleasing? I think the fuck not. <laughs> I find your opinion of yourself entirely too high. I shall bid you good night. Period. That. That's why I'm watching this show. That right there. Honey. That's what I like. I like a bitch with a bit of spunk, right? Daphne had the spunk. She really did the damn thing for me. So this bitch, she can stay. I need her, right? I'm behind her all the way. Finding it hard to navigate this secret life, Pen? The younger one would do it. The eldest just got out of the way. The sister is dreadful. I hate men. I hate men. I hate this, I hate that, I hate fucking men. Fuck this and the misogyny. Women are more than just children makers. I thought you ladies were taught to dance. And I thought you gentlemen capable of worthwhile conversation. <laughs> These women, I'm liking this wit that I'm getting from Eloise and I can't remember the other girl's name. Madame Delacroix. Madame Delacroix. I didn't know you were back in town. Does that mean I shall see you later on tonight? My art must come before. Work before pleasure, babes. Work before pleasure, absolutely. Even if he is a Bridgerton. I respect a girl that puts her craft before everything else, right? I really do. Respect Delacroix. I'm looking for perfection, Mother, and you should be too. The woman I marry shall be the Viscountess Bridgerton. He can't, yeah, he does need to be like a down a peg, guys. This is exactly what I'm talking about. He's sexy, but he's a bit of a prick. <laughs> You will end up alone with such expectations. Edwina must marry an Englishman of nobility. Why? I'm confused. May could not control your mama's marriage, so they mean to interfere with your sisters. Yes. Oh. They never recovered from my father's lack of rank. Oh, so they're making sure that Edwina's marriage goes well because obviously the mums didn't. The Sheffields have agreed to bestow a sizable dowry on my sister and to look after my mama, but only if Edwina marries properly. Who are the Sheffields? Having listened to that all again, obviously for editing, I'm pretty sure the Sheffields are the mum's parents, right? And I'm assuming that Kate is from the father's side of the family. That's why they're not technically related or something. If she was made aware of the circumstances, she would marry quickly only to please us. Edwina deserves a chance to find the perfect man. Yeah, no, she absolutely does. I completely agree with this whole scenario. Her, her intentions, guys, they seem pure. Might our queen finally extinguish the fevered speculation? Oh, so are we going to find out who's the main bitch this season? I hope it's Edwina. You said you wanted to shake up the season. Now's your chance. I love. We shall have our diamond tonight, and we shall have more. <gasps> Wait, but if she if she nominates Edwina, then is he gonna want to marry Edwina? But I feel like he fancies the other one. Oh, I see a love triangle, and it's kind of incestuous. Delightful, boy, Your Majesty. Very diamondy. Though I must admit, I'm more of an emerald person myself. <laughs> 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 My favourite necklace is one of emeralds. How thoughtful of you to know that. <laughs> <clears throat> it seems you have indeed come a long way since last year. Come through, she just impressed her. Look at the mum's face, she's fucking... Yay! We must leave. The Queen, she seems to in fact like me. And Louise is fine. Refine your circle of friends. I may have no... I would rather die. Bad bitch! Eloise! Oh, I love this. She said, I don't need to be your friend, babes. I'm the diamond. <laughs> oh, we're sitting down in our shiny frock skills. I don't know. I don't know if that's the best bet, especially not in the sludge with the flowers. God, we've got grass stains galore. Should I really turn on an English accent for my reactions? You've been keeping it from me. You like all of this. <laughs> 
I thought she was going to say, you'll whistle down. I think Eloise would be fine with the fact that she's whistled down. I think she'd actually kind of live. Allow it to now be my honour to present to you the season's diamond. Who's it going to be? I reckon she's going to choose Edwina. And then, and then we're going to have this whole love triangle situation that's going to be difficult to navigate, let me tell you. Miss Edwina Sharma. I fucking knew it. Viscount Look at them all. Biting at the... Biting at the what? At the bit? I don't know what it is, what? Munching at the bit? Crunching on the bit? I don't know what it is. Snapping at the bit? Oh, whatever. I only hope I shall be afforded the pleasure of a dance. <gasps> Does he know that they're sisters? Do you have any thoughts about children? Other than the fact that I desire them soon. We're prancing and we're interviewing. Do you play any musical instruments by chance? <laughs> Every single one. Many, in fact. <laughs> Many. Is your father in attendance? I should like to speak with him. He's also died. Yeah. Perhaps you could speak with my sister. Here she is now, Kate. Ah, Lord Bridgerton. I see you've met Miss Edwina. This is uh... her sister. <laughs> He's got to try and impress her so she'll let him marry her. You are not to go near that man, do you understand? I think he's gonna try and charm, charm, obviously the, the elder sister to try and get, obviously, marry the younger one, but I think he's actually gonna fall in love with the older one. That's what I see is gonna happen. He is here, the new Lord Featherington. Guys, and that's the end of ep episode one. Let's go straight on to episode two. I'm already loving this season. Uh, I'm not sure about where, like, where's Daphne and the Duke? Are they just not in this season? Like, the Duke, we've not seen him once. We saw Daphne at the very beginning. Who knows? But with all that said, guys, let's get on to episode two. Most marriages of the ton are, in fact, mere matters of business, my dear. But why? Why is that a thing? Why is marriage and love... <laughs> Christ, I got a bit too overzealous uh, there. Why is that the case? Why is it business? What was wrong with love? I wish to escort Miss Edwina to the races. My sister already has an escort this afternoon. Tomorrow then. She may be free. Ah. After December. Bad, bad, bad bitch. bitch. Come on, Kate. What you overheard the other night was not for your ears. But exactly, that's why it makes it ever more apt, sir. This what you must find, my dear, is happiness. People can be happy alone. Call it. My brother? No, not Colin. Colin? Colin? Wait, Colin's sexy? Many find poetry a flat medium. I carry a small pocket copy of my favourites with me wherever I go. Oh my god, he's gonna, he's gonna give us some poetry. I'm into it. I wish I was, I wish I could write poetry. I wish I could do a lot of things, actually. <laughs> I was hoping to speak with you. We've got interests. Oh, oh, fuck. I know for a fact them two are going to end up getting along, right? It's going to be one of those situations where you start off hating each other and then you end up in bed together. I know it's going to happen. Eloise, are you listening to me? What do you have in your hand? Nothing, Mama. It's only a pamphlet. It's the same print printer, though, isn't it? She's going to trace it back to whoever printed them both because it's the same. It's the same pages, the same font and everything. Lord Bridgerton. Miss Sharma. Mrs. Wiener, Lumley. It's playing it dirty, guys. It's playing it dirty. Miss Edwina, allow me to fetch a lemonade. Excuse me. He's gonna sit with her, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I kind of like it, guys. I kind of like it. I kind of live. Lonely, perhaps. Has he found someone? Well, I was never on my own, of course. <gasps> Has he found someone? You met someone. And I finally found you. You always do. I thought she was going to fucking thwart. Oh, and I would have loved that if she went... Very set to begin. <laughs> Which one is your pick, my lord? Edwina, fuck off! She knows her shit. Kate's the one for me. That hat, however, is not for me. Let me tell you that. <laughs> I hope she's right. I hope Kate's right. And now her fly is steady! Yes! Steady! Steady! 
See, I don't believe in using animals for sport. I've never bested a bike out before. <gasps> she beat him again. Guys, she keeps beating him. She keeps ending up on top. And we love that. Viscount does not like to lose. He's never stomached it, even back at Oxford. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. He's got him interested in her, hasn't he? He thought that you would judge me if you knew we were acquaintances, but I must assure you that my interest in you today was genuine. Why the fuck you lying? Liar. Stop you fucking lying. They're saying Nectar is to be sent to the Knacker's Yard. We are the, the Knacker's Yard! <laughs> the way she said that, wow. Seems a second game was afoot today, and Lord Bridgerton made certain I play the fool. Oh, Bridgerton. You fucked it. You fucked it this time. I meant no harm. Liar. I only wish to spend time with you. Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know whose side I'm on because I understand what Kate's saying because I'm not into this whole misogynistic view of women and objectifying them as just breeding tools, right? I'm not. But also, he is sexy and he has a bit of wit about him, right? And obviously, you've got to factor in Edwina's side of things and does she like the Lord? Fencing to me is quite funny. Like, they're just like lunging at each other, like. And like they barely move the rest of their body. It's just like. I mean, great form. Cracking lunge. Perhaps your life might be easier if you pursued someone with a less disagreeable system. But why should I be the one to admit defeat? First of all, I don't necessarily think he cares for Edwina. I think he cares for Kate. And I'm going to keep with that. I am. Right? I think he likes the challenge of trying to crack the sister. But he's also not trying to impress the sister or win her over in any way, so I don't really see what his, what his plan is here. But now it's time for me to secure my final victory for the day. This is the thing, I just, I, I just think that he doesn't like the fact that he can't have what he wants straight away. I brought you a small token to remember our fine time at the races yesterday. He, that's why the horse has got a bow on it. Oh, it's a fucking present. But I thought you loved animals. I do, but usually the kind that can curl up on my lap. She doesn't like horses. My apologies. She wants a puppy. Nectar reminding you of a beloved horse back at... Yeah. That horse is a character from a novel. A novel of love. <sighs> Something for which my sister is an enthusiast. Once again, she wins. She wins again. She knows her sister very well. Look at him, plucked. I was unaware there was a ball this evening. You're not invited. She hopes to find her love match and with you. So forthright in your disdain for such a thing. He really shot himself in the foot, then he acted like a lad. Interesting, hey? Actions do have consequences. Even for white men. Miss Miss Edwina's other suitors plan on choosing their words more wisely tonight. Oh my god, they're all doing talents and shit. Oh my god, how cringy. Oh no, he's no Michael Flatley, is he? I did begin a real conversation with someone. Someone I had known for a very long time. Who? Myself. Yourself. Oh. <laughs> Self-growth, okay, I see you, sir. Cleared my head, swore off women. I am a woman. You do not count, you're my friend. Your friend. Oh God, Penelope, you really don't catch a break, do you, babes? Pardon me, a Lady Dabry. Oh, here we go. What is it, truly, to admire a woman? Oh wait, he's just screwed it up. He actually is going to talk from the heart. My apologies, I cannot do this. Oh God, we're going to be honest, right? I cannot claim these words as my own, as someone else's entirely. Thank God. <laughs> With honesty. I could pretend to want the very same things as you, but I would be lying. That when it comes to action and duty, I shall never be found lacking. I mean, she is enamoured with him, isn't she? I cannot give you the love you deserve. Does that make him a bad man or an honest one? 
I guess so. I mean, if she wants him, she wants him, I guess. And maybe she changes her mind. Maybe she don't necessarily need love. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of confused, if I'm honest. And now he's going to thrive because he's won. The reason why I'm on her side is because I think this whole thing, like, I don't like the fact that women are only expected to only want a husband and only want that. Like, women have so much more, more to offer. And I think that's why I'm so on board with Kate because, of, because obviously she agrees and, like, stands in alignment with those beliefs of mine, as well as Eloise. She's another one I love. So I don't know, because obviously, like, if, Ed, if Edwina wants him, she wants him. And if she can get over the fact that he doesn't actually want love in a marriage, then whatever, I guess. You wish to be alone at a mere six and twenty. Are you so miserable, my lady? Okay. You are more than content. I have lived a life. Well, yeah, she's not 26 no more, is she? <laughs> but she doesn't need a man! Oh my god, what if she wants a woman? What if she wants nobody? What if she wants herself? You are not me. <laughs> She's letting her crack on. God. She's finally revealed herself. What? Less K's. They are slightly misshapen in the exact same way. If the same mistake is in Whistledown's next issue, then we will know that the print shop is indeed hers. She's going to see to it that it's not. A new letter K for a Stanhope Press. Let it be. <gasps> She's seen her. Even the most well-kept of secrets must eventually come to light. Well, guys, that's that on that. Let me know your thoughts. Oh, my God. This is going to be a spicy season, isn't it? Fuck the Lord. Just saying. That's what I think. I don't know, unless he grows and, stop being, st and stops being such a pig. Fuck the Lord. Bye! <laughs>